In this video, I'll show you how to conduct a hypothesis test for population correlation on a TI Inspire. We're going to let our independent variable x equal the number of hours the student spent working on a class in the first week of an intensive five-week online business statistics course. Let y equal the exam score earned on week one. We'll conduct the test at alpha equals 0.05. Our null and alternative hypothesis will be rho equals zero and rho not equals zero. If we reject the null, we are claiming that correlation is significant between hours spent working on this class and the exam score. The first step is that we will get the correlation coefficient r for our sample, then we'll conduct the test using two decision rules and reach a conclusion. Let's get started entering data into the calculator. We'll go down to Lists and Spreadsheets. I'm going to start by naming my lists Hours and EX1. Next, we enter the data into Lists. You should pause the video in order to enter the data for yourself. Now the data is entered. We click the Menu button. We go into Menu 4 for Statistics four for stat tests, and A for linear regression t-test. Right click in order to see the lists you've created, and then tab down to the next one and select the list you created for your y variable. For the alternative hypothesis, we have chosen to run this as an equal, not equal test. And finally, we choose where we want the results to be output. You can accept the calculator suggestion it usually will choose whatever is the next empty column. Click OK, and now we have our results stored in columns C and D. It tells us we ran a linear regression t-test. Keep scrolling down until you get to the row for R, the sample correlation coefficient, which we see is 0 0.44661. That does indicate we have a positive relationship between the X and Y variable although we wouldn't know if this was linear unless we plotted it on a scatter plot. And now we have enough information to conduct the hypothesis test with our first decision rule. Reject the null if p-value is less than alpha. Scrolling up, we find that the p-value given is 0.267, and that is not less than the significance level of alpha equal 0.05, Therefore, we will fail to reject the null. Now let's use the second decision rule. Because we're conducting a two-tailed test, we're going to determine whether the test statistic is in either of the tails, and if it is, we will reject the null. We're conducting this test with the t distribution. We will use the inverse t function in order to get a t-critical value. The calculator output shows us the t-test statistic is 1.22, and we can go to the inverse t and get our t-critical value. I'm going to put that output right next to it in cell E4. I'll go to Menu, 4 for Statistics, 2 for Distributions, and 6 for inverse t. Because this is a two-tailed test, we're going to enter the area which is in one of the tails, alpha over two. Tab down, and the degrees of freedom is n minus two. We had eight items in the sample, therefore degrees of freedom is six, and click OK. It's going to paste in the result for the inverse t that has 0.025 area to the left at six degrees of freedom. So we have a minus 2.44. This is plus or minus. 2.4469. And looking at this, since I have a positive t-test statistic, I would compare this with a positive t-critical value. And 1.228 is not greater than 2.4469. Therefore, I failed to reject the null. Of course, both tests have to agree. We conclude that we did not find sufficient evidence to suggest a significant correlation between hours of studying in this class and the exam score. This has been a video on how to use the TI Inspire to conduct a hypothesis test for correlation using the linear regression t-test. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful.